Yeah, glad to have you back. Glad to be back tonight. Yeah. Definitely, I think we need that attacking presence. Yeah, he's a, he's a crucial part to the team. Uh, we need them to get the goals in. Yeah, I think so. Um, our performances, like we were doing well, a little bit shaky. Did you see that it, the impact was needed? Yeah, definitely. Son's a big attacking threat for us. Um, the pace in behind, he's a big player for us. Um, we've had Kane and Mora trying to do the job, but without Son as the three, I think we we miss him a lot. Yeah, we miss, he's, I reckon he's our best player. We miss him so much. Yeah, yeah unbelievably so. Without Son, uh, Tottenham are a completely different team. You know, I'm sure those two games against Chelsea, we would have got something if Son had been on the pitch. You, could, you really missed his energy, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. and all our top four challenge as well. Yeah. We needed him back, didn't we? Definitely. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's fully matched fit yet, but like, just his presence alone, like, I think he's doing a bit more confidence in him. Definitely, definitely. He's one of our best players. I said it before, I'll say it again. One of our best players. And um, we really best. need him. If not the best, we need him. Uh, going forward, we need him. He fits into Conte's plans. Um, we love Song and we love all the South Korean fans that come and watch us as well. We love South Korea. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. We're glad he's back because we need him. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. If we're, if, if we're going to get fourth place, we're gonna, we've got to have Son in the, the sides for sure. For sure. Uh, you're a big Son fan, aren't you? What do you think about Song? Um, I think he's really probably the best South Korean player I've ever heard. Yeah, what? yeah, for sure, for sure. And you know with Son that he's always dedicated. He's he always so fast. He's so fast and he always runs after every ball. And he's the spirit of the club. He's the main main player at Tottenham, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, always, he always does. In the press team, and uh, yeah, as he said, it's first. Yeah. Son is the man. I was worried that nothing was going to happen, but then in the end, I think the signings are good. They look like they're hard-working players, what we need. Yeah, sorry, I think yeah, there was def definite positivity with um, the new signings. I think we need to work, we get some more, but it's early days yet. Conte's doing his job. It's all good. I, I, nothing against those two players, but I thought we might have brought um, a few more, and I thought we needed a backup striker, but... Um, You've just got to give them a chance and hope they, they're really good. But on the plus side, we've got rid of Dembele and Les Elso, so yeah. can't complain, can we, really? No. I'm quite happy. I mean, we signed, signed more players than uh, other clubs in London and other clubs just like in the Premier League in general, so that's always good. Uh, we also got rid of some deadwood out of the club, so that's also good. So we have more money to spend in transfer windows uh, in the future, and hopefully these players are going to be uh, crucial to the squad as well. Uh, we left it a bit late, you know, Daniel Levy, Got to, get his, got to get his hands in his pockets earlier in the window, but other than that, I think they can add something to the squad in midfield, but it's definitely on the right wing. I think that will be positive addition. Um, not overly. We've ended up with two Juventus players that uh, Paratici has managed to find us. We were in linked with a couple more. Um, so hopefully in the summer transfer window we can add to the squad. I think we, we needed a, another right wing back, Priore. Um, so there's still work to be done. So not that happy. It's okay, could be better. I mean, it's backup striker we're worried about. Some plays better on the wing, so I don't want him up as a striker. So if Kane gets injured, then we're a bit short. Yeah, I think it's been good. I think it's been good. I think that um, uh, you know they both cover a lot of ground. They're both uh, aggressive players. They're both tactically good. They've got so much experience, and they both want to play for Tottenham. So yeah. Uh, probably not 100%, <laughs> but hopefully the fans have helped a bit today to make him happy. But I'm sure he's got a longer plan. And stuff. Yeah, I think, and um, yeah, if Daniel Levy respects his um, knowledge and uh, etc., hopefully he'll give him the money and we can get the players. No. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't have thought Definitely so. not, no. no. <laughs> um, I mean, considering we lost that one, Adama and Diaz. I don't think we'll be too happy, but considering that we actually got some players here, we'll be happy. What do you think? Uh, not, not exactly. I think his press conferences have made that clear. Yeah, I think I think he wants more investment in the squad. 
with Le if Levy gives it to him, I'm not sure. Possibly. I don't think he is, but I think he might be come the summer if they do back him. Yeah. I think he kind of knew this would be a hard one. I think he yeah. is. On the quiet, I think he's, he's satisfied. Because, because now he's got all the players that you know, he, he wants to play for the club. No, uh, after, his, after his comments the other night, nah. definitely. Not. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere, but I don't think he'll be too. I think he's the best manager we've had. We've got to back him. Yeah, mm, yeah I reckon he is. Maybe. Getting rid of players like the yeah, Celso yeah. and, and Dembele. And I yeah, think we still could have added, though. Maybe a defender or yeah, maybe... Yeah. Centre-half. Yes. Would have been Probably nice. Centre-half yeah, as well, yeah. Has, yeah. It's sad that Deli Ali's gone because he's done great stuff for us, but he just he's lost it a bit, hasn't he? And I hope he finds it better. I prefer not ever, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that Deli, unfortunately, he's probably lost his focus a little bit. He's a, he really was a good player, and he is a good player, but he needs to start concentrating more on football. Yeah. Um, and the others, yeah, okay, uh, they've gone. Don't think we'll miss them. I think we can, full, you know, fill their spaces and then move on. Uh, wish him best of luck and. Uh, you know, come on you Spurs. I would say, uh, yes. Yeah. Ali needed a new challenge. For Ali to need it to go somewhere else, for him to get him to try to get to him. But the sales side done nothing. And Dembele done absolutely nothing. So, and Gil, I'm not sure Gil, not Gil needs a bit more time. Up, don't he? Yeah. Yeah. A bit more time and he'll become a good player. Yeah. Uh, oh, I I'm not really sure. I mean, a few of them, like Deli Ali, he doesn't really, he hasn't really got a lot of game time. So it's good that he's gone somewhere else to preferably maybe get a bit better, come back. He might perform better for us. But then, you know, at the minute, it's it's good because we're getting us more money for the club. We can preferably buy someone better. I think it's good for Brian Gill to go out there and get some game time. He's a very promising player. I like him quite a bit. And Dombele, huh? I, I heard it uh, with an option to buy. Hopefully, if he impresses out there, we can get good money for him. Maybe he can come back to us, a different player. The sell, so he hasn't really added much, but yeah. So I, I think it's a good deal for Daniel Lee. Uh, I think we needed to clear out a lot of players that weren't playing, get them some experience. Deli Ali's not been performing for the last couple of years, so it makes sense that he goes. It was quite a cheap deal. Um, and we didn't bring in enough players. We let four players go. We only brought two in. So there's there's definitely some questions around the transfer market this this window. I don't I don't like blame Ali for leaving Tottenham because he wasn't getting that much game time, and I think he has done quite a good move. Yeah, I think I think there's a lot of um, you know uh, uh, those uh, three players. Uh, some of them. They weren't playing as well as what they could do, so I think they needed to change a change from the team. So, yeah, I think that's a good move, really. Yeah. Massively. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they didn't say, do enough. They didn't do enough. I will say, Brian Hill, I reckon he needed to go to a Premier League team. Please. I think he needs experience in England rather than going back to Spain, which is a different speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm glad Ali needed to move on, etc. Et on Dumbele and uh, yeah. the Sapso, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you all for your support, and it's nice seeing you all at the games and with all your signs. Amazing. And, uh, keep coming. <laughs> yeah, keep coming to Spurs <laughs> and uh, yeah. bringing in fans and uh, enjoying the game. Absolutely. Definitely. It's great. Yeah, all the best. Good to see you over. Come and see us. How are you, Spurs? Thank you, boy, and Tottenham. Come and Spurs. Come and Spurs. Yeah, uh, we'd love to see you here. Hopefully you can travel to White Hart Lane, come support the team uh, and keep producing some amazing players like Son. Thank you very much for giving us Son. He's brilliant. Yeah, we love it when you come to Spurs. You made the atmosphere really good at Tottenham and uh, we hope to see you soon. And come on Spurs. Keep nope. supporting Sonny. Yeah. He's the man. Come on the Sonny. Yeah. It's Sonny. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, South uh, Korea, up the Spurs. Hope you're all watching back home. 3-0. We're going to Wembley. Yeah, we are. <laughs> going to Wembley.